this is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. Uh, let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Tuesday. So we're going to go straight to NASDAQ, uh, US 30, gold, US oil, Euro USD. Yeah, if you want to talk to me, here are my contacts. You can just WhatsApp me. So let's go straight to, to NASDAQ. So uh, while it's still loading, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, I think this week uh, we'll be reaching uh, 1,000 subscribers. So this is great, guys. This is great. So, yeah, it shows that uh, there is something. Uh, maybe, the, obviously, there is value on everything that we do here. So, and even the dedication, guys, I do this, like, every day. I do this every day, guys. So, yeah. I think uh, I deserve that. I deserve that since I like done this like for the past six months, nonstop, every day. Even if maybe the timing, sometimes I do some videos late and some maybe earlier. So yeah, so here we are on Nasdaq. You can see that. So what do you see here? What I see is I see an uptrend move so let me show you maybe on a zoomed out let me zoom out so the picture is like this i hope you can see that but we also have you can see this uh, it's a support area that we have but the market moved up you can see that so here we are at this moment again so there's possibility that the market can just shoot lower or the market can continue going higher but this is our strongest support at the moment so that uh, we can know that if maybe there is any breakout around this area we know that uh, we also have a support so because i see that even if maybe it's a like uptrend we still have some bearish structure inside here so it can sh maybe still push lower like that it's possible guys because we've been like on a very strong uptrend for some time now so yeah let's zoom uh let's zoom in and see so at the moment we are here i hope everyone can see that so at the moment we are here at the moment we are here so this is our support at the moment and we rely on it because we are on an uptrend so the move is actually creating something like this since here we have something like a, a resistant and support sorry support and resistance so the market is creating a new structure you can see that the market is creating a new structure so remember yesterday we had something like this but it's possible that the market can break this area because we are on this structure but remember at the moment we are on an uptrend so we just drawn this just to show you that okay it might be possible that the market can continue with this structure why because we reached our like resistance we actually nice take it overboard but sometimes uh, or maybe the, the market can still respect this area and push high again so but if you check yesterday here the market tried to break here then it pushed up again so here it seems like the market is going to do the same thing but we will see if maybe the market would close below here then and maybe try to sell off again you see but if not it means maybe the market will just try to respect uh, this area and push up again so it's where we're going to see the market breaking this area and going higher again so at the moment we're just waiting for the market to reach this area if it's not broken we'll look uh, for another buy maybe we're still going to break this area so it means even if we don't buy because this area is very close guys so uh, we can just buy maybe let's say we'll, we'll be just like short term uh, trades where we just enter a few pips later we just get out you see so let's just go to a bit smaller let's just use one hour time frame as we uh, this is a daily time frame so that we want to see exactly so do you see the structure that i'm talking about guys when i say this it seems to be a very nice downtrend 
but since we have this support here the market is not breaking that so we just waiting for the market to reach this area and see if this area is broken then if it's broken we are now going to confirm and say you know what now the market is changing the direction now the market is about to sell but at the moment we just have to wait uh, remember the market is overbought uh, but that doesn't mean when we say the market is overbought it doesn't mean that the market won't push up the market can still push up especially when we see this crazy consolidating uh, the market yes it, it might be going up and down nicely but when we go back on a bigger time frame it's actually on a very nice resistance and actually the market is just consolidating after this consolidation you might see a breakout going up or a breakout going lower so but since we have our support our resistant we're not going to panic we're just going to wait and see if the market doesn't respect that we already have our trends lines here so we will see okay now the market is breaking if it's breaking this one here it's also the same we're going to see okay now it's breaking our resistance it it's time for us to add more buys you see so we don't have to confuse ourselves so let's push to us data and see what we can expect from us data and us data was also creating some great moves yesterday i think we killed it uh, we just took one trade yesterday for for us data and us oil uh, they were both in a very nice profit so we have this structure the structure you can see the structure is now like changing uh, the structure is now changing so it means we just have to add and see because remember we had this nice one here which was our resistant but the structure now created some new moves so it means it's something like this so we have to see what we can see uh, do with this uh, structure because here is a very visible resistant uh, but the support is not really visible so what can we do we just have to wait for the market to give us a uh, that structure because we don't have to like predict and i mean to say maybe the market will reach here whatever without any proper uh, structure so on a four hour time frame everything is like this so what can we expect this area firstly it was the market uh, re uh, respected that here the market also respected but after the market bounced back and now it's creating something like that so here the market is coming back again but we are not sure where will the market come back so what we can do is let's rely on our our resistance that we had and now it's a support so we can call that maybe a fake breakout i mean this this could be a fake breakout because you can see that okay this structure makes sense now the structure makes sense but since this is a new formation of the structure so it means there's possibility that the market can still do something like that so if it does that it still it's going to give us some nice uh, structure that we can start to rely on because at the moment we just rely on this space on this area here which i don't think is enough so i think the market is also respecting this area maybe that is will be like our very nice area that we can say now we're going to uh, rely on that but yeah we can rely on that for but we just have to see and wait and see if maybe it's really respected so if it's really respected then it's where we're going to say now the market is creating something like this you see but if not let's say maybe the market breaks this area it's where we're going to say now the market uh, is going to maybe sell off but the best thing is we just have to wait for a retest because if we just jump in like this it means and you say i'm selling we're going to lose so the best thing is to is to wait for a retest a, actually a retest is like a confirmation for you to say um, it's time to sell you see so that's what i see on us 30 so let's go straight to gold guys we have to be fast why because we uh, we, we we don't want to I don't want to make uh, this videos very long so as long as i update you like daily uh, i think it's much better than nothing you see uh, let's see let's see gold it's also uh, was also pushing higher but if you still remember if you checked the video i 
talked about this like in every day and say look guys the market is going to since we had this uh, resistant and the market was just playing lower i mean on a bearish uh, momentum so this time the market was trying to go up but if you still remember we had some orders here and say look we have the market uh, the market is actually going to let me do this the market is going to consolidate around this area i hope maybe you still remember this area uh, there was some others i'm still holding gold so i told my people and even you on youtube i said the market is now consolidating why because after we've broken this resistance obviously the market has to change the direction it means the market is have to take like uptrend move but it won't just be obvious so the market has to consolidate so that few people they can get out of the market before we see this explosive move you can see that uh, after that after this uh, consolidation we had some explosive moves you can see that now this when we draw it makes sense it's a very nice uptrend you see so i'm still holding gold so it means now uh, i'm still eating on gold so the structure is quite simple even if maybe i can remove let me just remove everything because the structure is like changing it's already changed so we just have to go with the new trend uh we just have to change every day or after two days because if you don't change this sometimes you might long, you might not see the bigger picture because you're still holding on your old lines or your trends lines you see i see something like this so the market is creating something like just look you see so it's quite easy guys it's quite quite easy to see that but I hope maybe even the experience counts so you can just you go maybe to a bit smaller time frame and try to see that happening on a smaller time frame this is an hour time frame do you see that I think everyone can see this you can see the market up down up down up something like that so I hope this is quite easy for you to, to, to see so we are on a very nice uptrend obviously so what do we expect here since we had a very strong bearish momentum uh, last week so we still expect uh, gold to push up go back up go back up so for you to get the uh, the good trades it means you have to get the market around these zones around these zones it's where you're going to get some nice uh, positions so on gold but if let's say maybe if the market uh, rejects this uh, uptrend maybe we'll see the market breaking our support and maybe we can say now it's time to sell but at the moment we're just looking for bullish momentum only only buy positions only you see don't confuse yourself uh, when you see when you just see like uptrend think about buy positions only don't look and say now maybe it's overboard to start to draw maybe something like this and say i will sell here hey the market will just punch you in the face but sometimes you can still make those profits but mostly one way or another the market will find you doing that and you will pay for that you see so you don't have to pay for simple stuff uh, yeah so let's go straight guys please please hit the subscribe button let's then let's reach uh, 1000 subscribers before the end of the week you see that will be like very very nice before the end of the week so here it's oil guys it's us oil let me use like two hour time frame uh i hope i hope since you watched my previous video if not go back and watch that why so that you can understand uh, what's really going on here because we've been preaching about this since last week so remember we had this uh, resistance so this resistance obviously is respected you can see that you can see that even now the market respected that but this area it's also a support area which the market also respect and the market is coming back uh, uh, up on that area so it means we are actually uh, around a buy zone because it's a support so if the market doesn't break this area so it means we can buy around here when the market start to create those bullish momentum but on a bigger picture we we are on a wedge this is a wedge guys you can see that 
so the market is now creating something like it's i think it's going to create something like this 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 then boom going up it might break our resistance you can wait for that retest even if sometimes it doesn't happen maybe you can just wait let's say you can wait for uh the second candlestick that happens a bullish candlestick that will happen after break after this breakout but sometimes uh, you can just jump in then the market retest and you will be in that small negative or whatever drawdown so then the market can push up so the best thing is to wait for for a retest that's that is the simplest strategy that we can follow or maybe the market will push lower you see so we have like two options when the market gives you like a wedge like this it means now the market is trying to squeeze is the market is squeezed around this uh, wedge then we will see a breakout whether it will, will see maybe resistance been broke or i mean broken or maybe a, a support will be broken so something like that so we just have to wait at the moment but if it reaches this area we can still buy again but remember when the market reaches this a resistant it, it can just bounce back again so actually you don't have to hold a uh, longer because the market you can hold then the market you can go down because it means the market is in decision actually after this we will see maybe the market exploding whether going lower or up you see so let's go and finish up with uh, euro usd i hope you understand everything guys if you have some questions just comment there and tell me kenzo man can you do this for me i don't really understand this and that yeah if i have some time then i will try to assist you see so um this is euro usd we are still on very strong bearish momentum you can see that uh, we never broke this uh, the market never broke uh, this resistance why because the resistance is very strong so since let me see since may guys since may so this uh, bearish momentum is very strong so we also see that okay the market came here again tried to bounce back you remember i talked about something like this and say the market might bounce back from that because we have a very strong resistance so now i see the market is bouncing back so you just have to play it safe when the market is around here it's where you can sell not to buy we don't buy when the market is there so let's see that on on on, on smaller time frame uh, let's make that out so you can see that even if the market is not really it's not really close close to our resistance but you can see uh, once it reaches here very close to the resistance you can see that the market is still rejecting to show that there is still more uh, bearish momentum which shows that a uh, dollar is very strong for now but maybe the market can break this area and go up you see but at the moment everything is still the same i don't think maybe there is any something that you can do at the moment unless the market reaches this area and you can say now it's time to sell in this area it's where you can just throw something like this like that so that to understand the market because the resistance is a bit far or is it's on a very bigger time frame and you can see if the market reaches this area it's where i'm supposed to sell maybe if it does respect this area and we can see another sell off so i think maybe for today we're done guys please please hit that like share guys you can comment if you want to be in my group check my description you will find my contacts or maybe on my intro you will find my contacts you can whatsapp me you can telegram me then you can chat with me if you want the system is stay is 35 dollars oh, sorry it's 25 dollars it's on special if you want to join my vip still 25 dollars if you want the robot it's 100 dollars only so if you want to join my free telegram group where you can find those systems some other systems for free check my telegram group you will find some good stuff in there even some signals so this is kenzo extra hot forex bound